As someone entering the field, it's nice to have some idea of what your career progression might look like. But when you look at job postings out there, the diversity of terms and titles and descriptions can be overwhelming, making it tough to get a clear idea of what that trajectory might be. First, let's do a quick overview of some of the titles you often see, especially in job postings. One thing to take from this is that there are many different areas you could choose to specialize in. Some roles are more research focused, some are more strategy focused, and some are more design focused. As you develop as a UX person, it's great to get experience with many of these roles and activities. You don't have to have the job title per se, but you will probably find yourself doing some of the related work. As you do this, you'll grow your skill set and familiarity with several of these different roles, which will help you figure out what you want to choose for your own personal career focus. But first, you might be thinking, how do I do that? How do I get started? Well, most people start as IDs or interaction designers. This is the most common starting point and it's a great place to get broad experience and develop your design and strategy muscles. Since this is most likely where you'll start, we'll look at the trajectory of how this role can evolve. We'll look at a growth chart next, which is based on my research and experience, but I think you'll find this is pretty similar to what you'll see in just about any place large enough to sustain an internal UX department. The big picture is this. As you get more senior, you gain more independence and responsibility and evolve from research and design work into doing more strategic work and management. First, let's explain these job title acronyms. ID is Interaction Designer. XL is Experience Lead. And XD is Experience Director. Now, let's go through and explain each of these skill areas a bit more. Research and Design. This relates to creating simple, usable, elegant design solutions, taking risks with bold ideas, having the ability to do useful research analysis and pull out insights for project background and usable primary research. Creative leadership. This means you're capable of overseeing and guiding others' designs, concepts, and their creation of the related deliverables. Strategy. It means you can create actionable business and user experience strategies based on research and discovery findings. Management, as the term implies, means you successfully manage direct reports and team leads and guide them to success. You can lead, delegate, and oversee UX on projects, and you also contribute to scoping projects' needs and resourcing and can make adjustments as needed. You push your team to do their best and clients trust you as their partner. Business leadership. This is larger stuff having to do with your own company and how you're capable of proactively growing, shaping, and running an account or multiple projects you work and partner well with senior team members, and you're a trusted senior client partner providing consistent strategic advice. Okay, next we'll breeze through some of these job descriptions just so you can see how the requirements above evolve. When you're starting out, you're here. You have a positive can-do attitude and you're focused on learning as much as you can while taking feedback and pushing yourself to refine your skills. As you get broader exposure and familiarity, you move here. As an ID, you have a general sense of what the UX process is and its constituent parts, activities, and deliverables. When you're solid creatively and as a designer, you're here. You can help more junior teammates because your technical skills and ability to produce solid, consistent work is established. Becoming an associate experience lead marks your transition into a more strategic role. You also will begin doing some light management and oversee some of your more junior colleagues' work. Becoming an experience lead marks your official move into the role of managing people and projects. And as you progress, you'll play more of an explicit role in growing business accounts and in growing your company's UX department. And this evolution towards management and strategy will go on and on as you take on more and more company-wide responsibilities. There's definitely a lot to absorb here. So if you have any questions, please, as always, feel free to post them and we'll continue the conversation.